The film begins with Indian cricketer Azhar scoring a century in his 99th Test match. But he soon faces allegations of match fixing as his name has been linked with a London based bookie M. K. Sharma aka Sean. The Indian Cricket Board slaps a life ban on him. Azhar decides to challenge the ban in court with the help of his lawyer friend Reddy. Uddharan. The story shifts back to 1963, when Azhar was born to a comfortable middle class family in Hyderabad. His grandfather dreamt of Azhar playing 100 tests for Team India and motivates a soft spoken young Azhar to answer his rivals with his batting skills. Young Azhar goes for an Indian team selection match to Mumbai, where on the match day he receives the bad news of his grandfather's death. Nonetheless, he participates in the match. In accordance with his grandfather's last wish, Azhar impresses the selectors, sealing his place in Team India and he soon becomes a national hero by scoring three consecutive centuries in his first three test innings. Azhar soon marries Noreen and they both begin a happy married life. After a loss against Pakistan in 1991, the president of cricket board calls Azhar for a one-to-one -one meeting. Azhar initially fears getting dropped from the team, but is surprised when he is offered the position of team captain. Some senior players like Manoj, Ravi and Navjot resent Azhar's appointment as captain, not wishing to take orders from a younger and less experienced player. But Kapil supports and encourages him to focus on his duty. While playing in an India-Pakistan match, Javed taunts Azhar, telling Azhar his Muslim heritage would be a better fit for the Pakistan team. Azhar leads his team to victory and soon becomes a successful captain. At the peak of his career, Azhar's personal life takes a twist when he meets a former Miss India and famous Bollywood actress. Sangeeta during an advertising film shoot and instantaneously falls in love with her. Sangeeta likes him too but, aware that he is already married, she warns him to stay away from her. Nevertheless, Azhar is infatuated by her beauty and does not listen to her advice. They begin dating but keep their relationship hidden, until it is suddenly exposed by a gossip magazine. Uddharan Chene Azhar has no alternative but to publicly announce his affair with Sangeeta. Heartbroken, Noreen asks him for a divorce and soon Azhar leaves her to marry Sangeeta. During a cricket match against the West Indies, Azhar gets in a spat with teammate Manoj for a slow run rate in order to complete his century. Letting the team lose, Manoj is dropped from the next match and Azhar leads the team to victory. Manoj is humiliated and vows to take revenge. In later years of his career, Azhar, famous for his expensive lifestyle, comes into the eyes of match fixers. He is soon approached by a London-based bookie M. K. Sharma, disguised as a diamond merchant, who later offers him 10 million rupees to underplay in a match against Sri Lanka, which Azhar hesitantly accepts. Uddharan in a parallel story, after the match-fixing scandal, Azhar is now facing nationwide criticism and a prosecutor, Mira, is building up a strong case against him on the basis of sting operations done by Manoj on Ravi, Navjot and several other cricketers. She also uses the report of the inquiry commission set up by the cricket board and secretly meets the book he M. K. Sharma to gather more evidence. Meera also approaches Noreen, asking her to serve as a witness. But she refuses. Meanwhile, Azhar and his lawyer Reddy are struggling to find any proof of innocence as none of his fellow. Cricketers are ready to help him out. Uddharan. Azhar attends a gym opening ceremony to gain back his old fame in public. But is left insulted by the owner himself. After a long, eight-year legal fight, Reddy finally makes a breakthrough by proving in court that the Inquiry Commission report is biased. As they were paid by the cricket board itself, 
Reddy even challenges the authenticity of sting operation tapes, as none of the witnesses were under oath and hence cannot be treated as truth. Later, Azhar also reveals that he took 10 million rupees from the bookie to keep him away from other team members but later scored a match-winning innings and returned all the money to the bookie. Uddharan. On the final day of judgment, both Noreen and Sangeeta attend the court hearing, showing their support for Azhar. Kapil also states in a television interview that he believes Azhar is innocent. In its final verdict, the court lifts the India Cricket Board ban imposed on Azhar. Uddharan.